Sorry, Doc. I'm all out of odds. Uh, I promise I'll be quick. Oh, wow, you smoke? I'm trying to quit. I just... Let's get back to you. Look, I thought you people were supposed to be working on my head. Well, we are concerned with your body as well as your mind. Where's that nurse? What's wrong with my body? Nothing. I mean, it's great. It's... Um, uh, please, why don't you just, uh... Why are you so worried about the nurse coming back in? Well, I think it's just good to have someone else here, just to make sure we, uh... Are appropriate? Think... You know, I'm gonna leave the door open. There. Now, where were we? Well, I think you were asking me to do something with my tongue. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great having your brother back. You know, maybe we should make sure we can get custody from Alonzo before we start making promises to RJ about Will coming back. Yeah, well, it's not like he's all excited about it anyway. Well, he's probably used to being top gun around here. I'll get it. Come on in. Thanks. Hey, thanks for coming, Jeffrey. Sure. So, uh, listen, um, I'm going to do everything I can to help you get Will back. You know that. But what you but also have to know... it's gonna be difficult. Yeah, believe me, we know. I mean, there are a couple of interesting precedents, but nothing is gonna change the fact that Alonzo is the biological father. Well, we do have one thing working for us. Um, I know you're gonna hate it, but... Edmund? Well... He's in prison, but he's also agreed to uh, give a statement, you know, and he is a blood relative to Will. Yeah. He was part of negotiating... Um, you guys want to sit down? Maybe you should sit down. There will be zero contact. I don't even have no, to go anywhere near no, the you... prison. As far as Edmund's situation is concerned, there's something you don't know. Okay, maybe I will take that seat. No, I cannot wait that long. Well, what can you, what can you come up with next? Uh, are you understanding me? This is, uh, my situation is very difficult. It's becoming more precarious, all right? Well, when is the... If you can't get something faster than that, I'm going to have to go to someone else. Yeah, okay. All right, Frank's got nothing so far and any witnesses that could have seen Griggs. What? What's going on? That. She look nervous to you? Yeah, nervous and jumpy, yeah. My favorite combo in a perp. What are you thinking, partner? I'm thinking she was at the hospital and Greg showed up. That she was. And she said that he didn't say anything to her. Her words, pretty much. She looks honest, though, right? Oh, yeah, sure. Right. So you think fourth or the highway is faster at this time of day to get to the Spaldings? Fourth. Definitely fourth. Okay. us brothers. None goes his way alone. All that we send into the lives of others comes back into our own.
Cyrus. Cyrus. Can you hear me? Cyrus? It's me. It's me. Marina. Where is she? Oh. Thank God you're alive. <coughs> Thank God. <coughs> oh. You lied. Going somewhere? What? The passport. You going somewhere? Oh, it needs to be renewed. I. Do you know how long it takes to get that done these days? Well, look at that. That's good for another three years. Yes. Well, I don't like waiting that long. Waiting till the last moment. Yeah, I hear that. So why don't you tell me? Uh, what you know. Why don't you be honest with me right now? About what? About what Griggs told you before. Where are Cyrus and Harley? Uh, what is it? You think I have some special powers of communicating with comatose patients? You know, all the way over here, on the long drive over here, Marina and I were having a very heated argument. Why don't you take it back outside? You know, Marina's just desperate to see you behind bars again. She didn't like the whole kidnapping thing. But you see, she's suspended from the force now, and I'm in charge. And I'm a reasonable man. Well, that's so good to hear. You know, Alexandra, I had a feeling that you had a little talk with Griggs. So I followed my hunch, I got a warrant, and I went back to the hospital to take a look at those uh, security tapes. Oh, you... Well, you're bluffing. <laughs> you know, all I care about is finding Harley. So I'll tell you what, I'll give you a lift to the airport if you tell me what Griggs told you before. And why would you do that? Because you're the least of my worries. And you know what? It's not going to be long before someone else figures out that Griggs told you where Cyrus and Harley are. Come on, you're just guessing. You don't know that Griggs told me anything. You know, if I turn on the siren, I can have you to the airport in 20 minutes. How the hell could they let Edmund out of prison? Uh, maybe Alonzo didn't want him on the island any longer. So what, they just sent him to a mental hospital? Well, as bad as it sounds, at least he's still locked up. Is he crazy? I mean, is he crazier? Uh, we haven't figured that out yet. Well, maybe we should find out before he gives a statement. Well, he sounded reasonably sane when I talked to him on the phone. What? When you talk, you talk to him? Already? Hey, hey, believe me, I didn't like it either. So Edmund is already back in your life. It's fine. I can handle it. What's it mean? What? Well, the, the, this transfer for Edmund, what's it mean in terms of his uh, future prospects? You mean, is he going to get out? Yeah. Yeah. Is my psycho, murderous ex-husband going to get out anytime soon? I think that's a fair question. So how did you rate on bedside manner in medical school? You're very... Uh, I bet you got an A. Very pretty. You think I'm pretty? And sexy. You hitting on me? Me? I... You want to see me with all my clothes off? Is that it? I, I don't understand. What's wrong with you, doctors? You just expect women to fall at your feet? You... Get out! 
Get out before I start screaming and telling people you've done inappropriate things to me. I knew I should have waited for the nurse. You really shouldn't smoke, Doc. come in for me, won't they? It's better than being stuck in this place. Stay a few days on the island if you want, just as long as we get out of this hellhole. What is she doing here? Oh, no, I get it. You think that you're going to keep me here. You think that you're still in charge, right? I just wish you could stop thinking this is you against me. It really isn't, you know. Oh, all I have, it's going to be you against my lawyers. Dinah, if you keep fighting like this, it's just going to make everything worse. Mom, you don't care about me. That is very clear. You don't care if I'm stuck here forever. Of course I care about you. This is all about making you better. I am better. I keep telling everybody that I'm better. The problem is you are the only one who doesn't believe me. Now, Matt, you tell her that the other day with Maureen, that was a mix-up, okay? You were there. Dinah, listen to your mom. You don't defer to her. She kicked you out, remember? She Dinah. kicked us both out. Dinah. Now, come on! What is this? It's what I've been trying to tell you. Well, uh, that was uh, Alonzo's lawyer, actually uh, one of his many lawyers. Cassie's made her choice. Uh, Edmund's just too much of a risk. Well, Alonzo has also made a choice, and he's chosen to make this extremely difficult for you. Yeah, well, we knew that was going to happen. Well, what you didn't know was that Alonzo is putting Edmund on his witness list. Wait, wait a minute. So uh, Cassie has absolutely no say into whether or not Edmund's involved? He wants you to give up. Well, uh, it's going to take more than that for me to give up. Uh, there is more than that? Yeah. What? No deposition. Alonzo insists that the hearing be held at Edmund's facility, and that means that you're going to have to show up there yourself, and that's not negotiable. Griggs just said he was gone. Where the hell is he gone? Cooper? Oh, oh wait a minute. And you said... No, he lied. Oh, well, I should have figured that one out, shouldn't I? There is no car waiting to take me to the airport, is there? Oh, no, but there's one waiting to take you to prison. You know, we can still make this a lot easier on you if you just tell us the truth now. <laughs> the truth? Yeah, where are they? Where are they, Alexandra? We're just going to stay on you until you tell us. Carl Griggs told me is that Cyrus left town. I presume that Harley followed him. He just left. All right. All right, there's more to it than that, of course. I mean, Griggs was holding them prisoner, but they got the better of him ever did. I mean, that's why Griggs was in that condition. I mean, Cyrus almost killed him. So, well, he ran. I mean, he's obviously back to his old ways, huh? <laughs> I'm presuming he's on his way to the islands right now to meet up with his ex-partner. Dinah, who he just locked up in a mental institution. Well, he can't get to her. You underestimate my husband. 
Okay, assuming all this is true, why didn't you say anything before? I suppose I wanted to give Cyrus a chance to get away. After all, he is my husband, their feelings, their... Oh, your dedication is inspirational. <sighs> what is it, Maria? You just can't imagine him deserting you, too. <laughs> is that why it's so hard for you to get through it? No, I'm having a hard time getting through it because your lips are moving. Ah, uh -huh. and he stole the money after he promised you he wouldn't. And that's not the first time you haven't come first, Marina. Okay, come on, that's it, enough, let's go. Come on, come on, what are you waiting for? Fine, let's go. Wait. I want you here when we get back. Do you think there's anyone up there? There has to be, you don't... Know? Just blow up a building and walk away, right? You have to. You have to clean it up. You know, sort through it. Oh. Or do they do it fast? I don't know how they do it. Oh, why couldn't you come from a family of construction workers? If I came from a family of construction workers, I wouldn't be down here with you. Yeah. You'd be up there, not hearing me yell. Okay. Let's rally. Come on. One more time. I just, I just need to catch my breath. Okay. Oh, all right. The Griggs is buried deeper than we are. You hope Griggs is up there and he's walking around. This is the only person who knows we're here. Probably feeling real chatty about it too. Marina will get it out of her. Yeah, sure she will. Come on, you ready? Yeah, we'll <coughs> okay. Help us! <coughs> We're down here! Please help us! Hello! Cyrus, come on. Come on, yell. I just, help! I just need to rest. Are you okay? <sighs> You hurt. Why didn't you say something? I uh, hear yeah. Cyrus, stay awake. Don't go to sleep. Come on. Stay Stay awake. You have to stay with me. What is that? Oh my god. Sure. Is it Kevin? Are you hurt? Oh, I'm mad at you. Off me. I've got a better shot of breathing. Uh, it's oh. a little tighter in here now. Uh. Oh, that's good news. Oh. You're bleeding. Where are you hurt? Everywhere. I think my leg. I am going to put some pressure on it. Oh, to try God. to stop the bleeding. Oh. Okay, stay with me. Oh. Stay with me. Yeah, you're just, you're just scared. You won't have someone to talk to. You are a sparkling conversationalist. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm told. How can you get out of this? Let's make a deal. What? You don't lie to me. And I won't lie to you. When have I lied to you? We're both professionals, right? We know the deal.
but we are going to get out of this, right? She's lying. What do we do? I don't know that she's lying. Oh, God. Look, it's the only lead we got. Harley would have called. Unless for some reason she couldn't call. Cyrus wouldn't hurt her. I don't know that. Look, maybe Cyrus did go to the islands, okay? I have to get down there. I have to check it out. Make sure Dinah's okay, Harley's okay. I don't have a choice. Fine. I can be packed in 10 minutes. You don't have a badge anymore, remember? Great. That means I have time to go to the islands. Should I pack my bikini? It's not that kind of an island. Let me out! Dinah. Don't touch me! How do you go back to her just like that? If you saw what she was going through, Dinah, you would... What about what I'm going through? I know it's hard. What did she say? What did she do to turn you? I just got a wake-up call, that's all. Maybe you're gonna get one, too. Do you remember you told me that you thought I was fine just the way I am, that you thought I was fun? I did. Is she blackmailing you? Telling you that she's gonna take you back, let you see Maureen if you take her side on this? Getting back with Vanessa has nothing to do with you. We want to do this. We want to... You say help me, so help me. I will deck you. But we do want to help you, Dinah. Mom, have you ever heard of a lost cause? I love you very much. Well, Mom, you can't fix me. You can't put me in a mold and make me like everybody else because, you see, I don't want that. What do you want? Don't you want to get better? Why is everything, you're pushing everything and everybody away? Is it because you lost Mallet? Is that it? You leave Mallet out of this. Finally, thank you. Get them out right now. Dinah? Get them out! He's outside. He usually tells us. Uh, let me go look for him. You know, he's having trouble with this. Uh, I'll talk to him. Uh, Seth, listen, RJ's gonna have to call you back. Okay. We'll figure out how to do this. Well, it seems like it's already figured out for us. We have to go down there and we have to see Edmund. And we'll talk about it when I get back, okay? I'll see you, Jeff. I can handle this, you know, this fighting Alonzo. About Edmund. All that, too. It's been a long time. Yeah, well, maybe a few months ago I wouldn't have been able to handle it, but now I'll do whatever it takes. Okay. So I will make uh, the flight arrangements, but I think I should only make them for two. Why? No, I need you to be there. Oh, I'm... I'm going to be there. I just think that maybe you should leave Josh here. Josh is my husband. Why would you think for a second that he wouldn't be there Look, with me? Cassie, Alonzo is already fighting dirty. Now, we know he's going to come after you, but what about Josh? Yeah, well, that's not going to stop Josh from going down there. When you talked with Edmund, what did he know? About? About you and Josh. He didn't say anything. Well, I'm just wondering how helpful he's going to be when he finds out. OK, so we'll just have to keep him from finding out. That's all. So 
do you know that there are people in the world that actually think that it's weird to eat ice cream once it starts getting cold outside? Not me. Yeah, me either. In fact, I would have a cone in each hand while I'm skiing if they would let me do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, could we get uh, a couple of bowls of uh, double scoops of chocolate? Okay. Chocolate. Ice cream. Thank you. So, um, what were you doing all the way out at the far end of the property? I mean, it's not like you to you know, just take off like that without telling me or your mom where you're going. Sorry. Well, it's okay. I'm not mad. If I were mad, I wouldn't be buying you ice cream. just want to make sure you're okay. Well, I'm okay. Glad to hear it. You've been thinking about how things are going to change once Will is here? Maybe. It's okay to be worried about stuff like that, you know? I mean, changes. You've been through way too many for your young years. I guess. That's what's been on your mind? Hey, you know what? Uh, remember, while you're thinking through all this, trying to get it to make sense, remember one thing. How cool it is to have a brother. It's been a long time. Yeah, but see, that's the great thing. You two, once you get together, it'll be like you were never apart. That's what brothers do. I know I have one. You and Billy always get along? No, <laughs> of course not. But a brother, it's like, it's like a best friend times ten. Hey, the two of you, you're going to have something that will last forever. You, something you can count on. No matter what happens. So you'll call the airport. Yeah, you can still change your mind. And you can stop asking me that. Well, maybe it's better if we split up. I'll see you in five minutes. Hey, um, I hope you don't mind. I had them let me in. I thought maybe my little girl could use some company, so. I wonder if they knew enough to even be worried about us. Who? Oh. kids, my family, everybody. I mean, Marina's the only one who knows I came to look for you. Oh, they'll, they'll figure it out eventually. It'll be Halloween soon. They'll be getting all dressed up. Do they have Halloween in Australia? Yeah, we all dress up as Americans. <laughs> come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, you know, I'm still here. <sighs> tell me. Tell me about your kids. They're beautiful. They're perfect. Daisy. My sweet Daisy, it's so difficult for her right now. Yeah. Yeah. I she'll have her uncle. She'll have her grandpa, but she needs her mother. Oh, she hasn't lost her. I thought we weren't going to lie to each other. Tell me, you boys wore for Halloween last year.
It's a jackhammer. Maybe they're looking for us. Yeah, maybe. It's far away. It could be a couple of days. I can't help it think about it. Oh, God. Oh, my kids. They know you love them. My family. They, they know you love them, too. They all know. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to die like this. I don't want to die like this. Just think about something else. Just think about something else. Halloween. When? Whenever. Don't try to distract me. It doesn't matter. Let's sing. I can't sing. That's something else. Like what? Tell me they don't change the batteries in these things. longer, honey. Are you still there? Yeah. I want to be with you, Mom. I want you to be here, too, honey. And Josh and RJ feel the same way. Why is it taking so long? Sometimes these things just do, but I promise you, honey, I will make it go as quickly as possible. I have to go. I love you, Will. Bye. Did I do okay? You were great. Perfect. I tried to remember everything you said. And you did. Just keep one thing in mind. Your mother will never turn her back on you as long as she thinks you need her. Now, it's time for you to go. Can I count on you? Yes, always. OK, look, I got my cell phone. I got my walkie-talkie, my pager. If anything develops about Harley, they know how to find me. Dad. In the meantime, I would really like to take care of my little girl. It's really a bad time. Damn right it's a bad time. We're going to fight Doris Wolf together, and we're going to get your badge back. Now, listen, until then, I would very much like to take you to company on me, OK? I mean, it'd be good for you. I'm, I'm just I'm not really up to it. OK. Um, you're right. You know what? You've been through a lot, so we'll order in. Dad. Bring it up. You have to eat, baby. I, I know, but I, I just um, I want to take off my shoes and uh, and what? Bed. Please understand. Oh, I understand, all right. This is all about Cyrus Foley, isn't it? Look, I know we're all stressed out and worried about Harley and all that, but um, it's really going to take a lot for you, I know, to get over Cyrus. You know, some things you just can't get over. Yeah, well, I'm really sorry that it took you so long to see what he really was. Me too. Dad. Okay, I'm going. Sorry. Um, I just want you to know that 
I'm just a... A phone call away. Me too. Mm -hmm. Please get some rest. And eat, eat. Yes. Eat is good. Okay. I love you. Love you. Hey, I saw this car in the lot. I figured you might be stuck. Yeah. Uh, what, what time is the flight? <sighs> All right. Guess I'm buying my clothes there. This has been Guiding Light.